party member's occupation. Can't go there yet. Go here and save the game. Let's save that here so we can we have Durgan. Yep, playing an actual PS temple, ready to go for healing. Lodging for your rest up. Shop where you buy stuff. And the actual labyrinth where you go to fight things and potentially die. Go oh, into the bar. Bar. Luna Light. The people here show presence. With their losses in the flash. This place is full of the people who are searching for what they have lost. It's a challenging task because some are looking for their dreams and some are looking for their loved ones. In the case, they have precious memories to each one of them. We can retrieve those things after the flash. It shall be your duty to fulfill their quests. Okay. And then he finishes again. Six party slots. Three front rank, three back rank. I'm on a thief, I can't really make traps. Tell me what trust I want to know what trust is. I want you to show me. I want to know if trust is actually useful to adventure. I know it's an odd quest, but it's important. His name is Ricardo Dorefres. Ah, uh, Japanese fantasy last name. Ang Ang Anglophile last name. Anglophile, but Anglicized last name is from Japanese games. I mentioned it was as far as down the labyrinth is the third floor. Individually, after all, it would help me if you screwed up. If you lost your life, they probably would say that you didn't have enough ability. They sound like a bunch of. Oh, glad they sound like a bunch of jerks. Ricardo looked uncertain. Did you talk with the right grand? It was on this one mission. One of our party members was caught by a monster. Trying to figure out, trying to feel out the voices from my possible party members. I hurried to help him. He's one of the guys I got to know pretty well. I couldn't just let the darn beast of my friend. It's a teen rate game, so I can't say the word damn. But the guy lived, but. Ricardo stopped the talking to us. My careless actions caused a failure of our mission, so I was let go. The team leader told me that trust ain't worth shit. I'm assuming I'm, I'm I must be directly quoting him because I would, because I was unwilling to even say darn before. But I don't think so. That swordsman said that you are different. I'm a favor to ask you. Tell me if trust is really useful. Uh, you're the kind of leader I've been looking for. I'm willing to sacrifice anything. But will trust. Uh, if you're willing to trust me, I won't abuse that trust. Once I figure out exactly what accent I'm doing. Though to be honest, I can barely keep one accent for more than five seconds at a time. Ricardo has joined your party. However, this is a dark game, so we're not going to give you a fanfare for when you get new party members. A brief tip on his personality from the fairy who has not appeared in this game previously. Ricardo Dorif... Dorifnes? People of kindness, he values camaraderie more than thrills from adventure or 
battle. You will lose your stress if you act away the way that values yourself. Selfish can spoil your comrade's life. Alright, and yo. Almost my pride as a ninja ever since I was faced with death. Will you help me to conquer the spear so that I can stand tall in battle? Well, this gives me a thief so that I can disarm traps, so yes. Ninja quickly pushes his way through the crowd and approached him. The swordsman said that you were recruiting people for your party. You're a pretty honky ninja. If that is true, would you mind taking me to the labyrinth? He was polite, under his hood, there was a sharp look in his eyes. He named himself as Kyo Hattori. Grown up to live a different life than most people. No trained up bodies and minds or lives with one enemy. That enemy is fear. Fear changes me. I thought I had already accomplished that task. There should be no ninja who frightened me of fear. But I guess I never really met the true enemy. Yo, stop talking. Though he did not show it in his expression, a dark subconscious brought back his subconscious, his subconscious brought back a dark recollection. I was no doubt a warrior until death appeared before me. I was laying on the ground, quietly awaiting death. My body was turning cold, and darkness was near me. There was no feeling of ease or surprise. Darkness and death had seemed to swallow everything. For the first time. If only my body moved. I was miraculously rescued. I was no longer a warrior. I had turned into a coward. I lost everything instantly. He had stopped talking. He was reluctant to keep his mouth tight each day. Please, help me regain my pride as a ninja. The pride that I have lost. I just need a chance. Much help to anyone. I'm willing to do anything for that chance. Yo has joined your party. Personality notes. Strong sense of justice. You turn an opponent to anyone who goes against him. Those with the composure should be kind to those who are hostile. If you battle monsters that are friendly, you will be hurting him. Got it. So, basically, good allied ninja. So this is how trap design works here, it's not like the games. You also have to be kind of fast. Look what we got for gear. I have a long sword. I have a long sword, long, long sword chain mail, and shield. Uh, I'm going to transfer a potion. Two healing potions. Third potion basically get. Basically, an evac potion. A loot 
Spider is the one people on front rank. Um, but yeah, compared to the other Wizardry games, like the main series, this is fair. Like the, the first trilogy, this is fairly light. Thing or Brawny Warrior approached you as whispered to himself. Not the one head sword from the Rizal, son. One of the Queen's guards, a knight to the Queen. Never say he died during the clash. Must have heard wrong. The warrior took his head in doubt, but showed a friendly grip. I've only seen him a few times because of his social status, but no matter how much his appearance has changed, I would never mistake his cold blue eyes for someone else. Besides, I think of God for warriors like us. I seem seems puzzled, but she didn't seem impressed with what he said. Huh? Don't tell me you don't know. Don't you know he's the father of allied actions, the technique used by the Queen's guards? Never heard of it, because I wanted to the debrief tutorial. Barbara Gaspin first saw the allied actions. He seen many teams of superior individuals, but the guards' way of fighting was fundamentally different. The way their teamwork flowed and their various deadly blows Watching them work and sing, it seemed as, as if they were a single creature. Many warriors are trying to do allied actions in their strength, but I have yet to see the team execute as well as the guards. This is why I asked if the white-haired sword was between the guards. If so, I was hoping for him to teach me. Maybe I should ask him to teach you the next time you see him. See you around! Okay, there's something I want to say. You can change your name in class at the guild. I don't need to give up my name or class. You probably noticed the race I'm not even in there. I think there are others like me too. I just want to live the rest of my life with the same name or class. Oh yeah. Theoretically here, what you can do is you can change the name of your character, change your class, also bring another character. Whatever you want to generate in the, at the bar. So Bishop is a character you like you kinda wanna have level in, you what you want to level up into in the game earlier because bishops can identify items in the dungeon rather than have to bring them back down and spend money. Um, Samurai and Knights are the elite fighters. Um, yeah, as it says here, it tells you here, Samurai are um, more neutral and more neutral and a little slightly lo lower um, clash requirements. Knights are higher level, I mean, they're the same level, but they have more rigorous clash requirements and um, if you go to lions, they're basically paladins. Ninjas are technically evil, but having a good ninja in the party, we're keeping him because then he can because he it means he can coexist with knights and samurai. Um, sorcerer, starting wizard. Bishop is kind of the higher level wiz spellcaster, but sort of, kind of, not really. Um, because it really messes with their, uh, like, they're jack of all trades, a master of none, at least in the other games, for spellcasters. That may be a different here. But you still want to have a bishop in your party. As they can identify things. Let's save again. And now we have a larger party. And we had a whole bunch of exposition. We don't have to go through that again. To the shop, see if I can afford to buy any better armor for myself and my party members. A customer is already inside the shop. There's some commotion going on. Fat beats. Only ten gold for the shield? You said this one was magical. It's magical. Oh yeah, it was appraised as being magical. And a darn good shield too. That should be worth at least a thousand. Nah, five thousand. Firm. Ah, don't be such an amateur about it. You're, you know the rules when it's not appraised beforehand. You've always known that anything underpraised is a straight ten gold. This is the reason why you want to have a bishop in your party to handle appraisal, so you can have some. Because that way. You don't have to pay the appraisal fee when you encounter items in the dungeon. 
and then you get the actual market value when you get back to town. You con artist, you're just taking advantage of the situation. Just because you're the only one who could appraise it and lift curses. Get it. Sorry for the trouble. She turned her back to the shopkeeper after waving her hand. Oh, you were watching? I'm so embarrassed. He's a really greedy scumbag. But a big difference from his wife, who will make magic stones for free. If only I knew a bishop, as I was getting into earlier. Bishops, again, throughout the series, they are the people who can appraise and identify items. Then I wouldn't have to go through all this trouble. Let me give you a word of advice. You're going to need money to spend at this shop. Rui sighed and left the shop. You're going to need a lot of money, because shops and wizardry games eat your cash. By comparison, like Might and Magic, the main series there, for example, towns have a slightly different selection, but your items, you don't have to go through the identification shenanigans, and you're also going through multiple cities and different, with different shop selections. Hey, come on in. What do you need? Well, let's see what you got that I can buy. There's three arms that won't wear down. Various classes. Armor. Yeah, chest plate to the next level up, which Ricardo has, is 12,000 gold. So he's already got better arm, um, better than armor than I can afford. Chainmail, use up all of my let's try weapons long sword of a long sword that would also clean me out anything bigger like a great sword or katana which I can't use yet would clean me out and these I can't afford and also if you notice I can't inspect the item there we go all right so you get the new equipment and what it does it helps to slightly decrease and increases, ac increases accuracy. Decorative charm might be useful if you have an archer or someone who's using ranged attacks. Uh, that must be first time. We can separate magic zones here. What can I do for you? So. Magic stone can be used to get spells that look like for your various casters. Look at the sorcerers. Um, I want to see if I've unlocked being able to create new characters yet. Nope. On full health, so I have to do lodgings. The part of what you want is we have a wizard in your party. Healing gets cheaper because rest you rest the lodgings and regenerate your spell points for free, and then so what you can do is just rest the lodgings for free, restock your hit your spell your healing spells. Heal your party, rest again, and you're good to go. Also, you have to rest at the temple in order to level up. Or the data save because I once again triggered another cutscene.